Hey guys, how are you doing? I have a good news for you. And the good news is that we have reached 100 subscribers. Actually more than 100 right now. And uh, that's good. We are a family of 100. And if we help each other out, then soon you're gonna get your MS degree and in an awesome way, from an awesome place. So I was making these videos and they were coming a little boring. And I thought rather than making the videos myself and choosing a topic, I will just answer the most common questions that I see on my YouTube channel. And here we go. The most common and important question asked was, what are the job prospectives after MS in USA? Uh, to answer that, I think it all depends on your talent. The universities here are not the same as the universities in India. And uh, they don't uh, call companies for placements. They don't uh, help you much. You have to show your talent in the interview. And if you have the talent, you got it then sure there are a lot of jobs here and also it depends on which place you are in based on your major for example uh, myself I'm a computer science major and I live in Los Angeles which is actually uh, in California and if you are somewhere here or if you are near the Bay Area which is San Francisco and San Jose then it's pretty off like pretty obvious and pretty easy it's pretty easy to get a job because there are a lot of companies who are working in the tech stuff and there is huge demand of software engineers but if you are in uh, some other major, then there might be some uh, different place which is good for you. For example, for civil majors, it might be Arizona because a lot of construction is happening there. And uh, for mechanical, there are other countries like Germany and uh, like all of Europe basically is good for mechanical engineers. So it totally depends on your talent. So a job is not for sure. Like there are some people I've seen who didn't get a job and they have to go back because you get a limited amount of time after your graduation to get a job. So. If you are unemployed for let's uh, let's say uh, for three months, then your OPD expires and then uh, your visa expires. So uh, what you need to do is you need to find a job really really quickly, and within the three months, uh, you have to do all of it by yourself. You have to apply for it. You have to send your resumes using different websites. So the bottom line is that doing MS doesn't guarantee job, but it does help you get a good job because first thing you are a master's degree holder in USA from a good university and the second thing is that uh, if you have talent there are a lot of demand for people for good jobs actually hunting for jobs start as soon as you reach here because there are a lot of on-campus jobs and you have to be very quick and very talented to find those and you have to be very good with networking with people because a lot of your friends know about those jobs a lot of your professors know about those jobs there are some professors who actually need a research assistant or graduate assistant and you need to apply there and uh, if you're good with people and you have a good network then they will let you know about it and they will recommend you for that particular job and the same thing happens after you graduate because uh, your professors uh, sometimes know a good place or a good company they work with and they can help you get the job and get your recommendations uh, that will help you in the interview uh, another thing to worry about is that when you are applying for jobs there are a lot of things involved for example you are not a citizen here uh, so you have to uh, use your OPT or your H1B and the company has to do a lot of paperwork and they have to sponsor you for the H1B after your OPT expires. Some companies don't do that, some companies don't like it because of a lot of paperwork and the uh, money involved to get your visa, to sponsor your visa. And uh, that's why they stay away from people who are not a citizens. So it makes it a little tough. Another question that was asked which is related is that is job experience required to apply for MS or to get a job after your MS is done? Well, it is not because uh, what I have done is after completing my bachelor's, I came straight here for my master's. As I said, it's all about talent. Uh, when you go for an interview, all they will see is what you know and what you can do. Uh, so if you have some kind of proven record, let's say you're doing some uh, open source work, some free work, or if you have done something as a project, or if you have good uh, knowledge about your field then that will help you in your job interview so it doesn't matter if you have a job experience from before of course it will help you if you have it because first thing you will have more knowledge and second thing you have something to brag about in your interview that you have already done that okay so it's not required to have a job experience and of course uh, if you have if you did your bachelor's and you didn't do a job or you had some time off for some reason I don't know it will not be negatively affecting you here for your masters or for uh, after your masters for your job interviews so don't worry about anything just sharpen your skills come here give the interview 
A lot of the time, uh, they don't even ask you which university you have graduated from or which university you have completed your bachelor's from. All they see is what you know and that's the bottom line. I don't know how many times I've repeated it and it's very important to know and I can repeat it again and again. It all depends on your skills and your talent. So if you have the talent and you have the skills, you are good. Trust me, you're good. Your marks won't affect you. Your grades won't affect you. Your college, the name of your college or how good it is doesn't affect you. Last thing I want to talk about is that guys, I have another channel that I'm working on and uh, it would be really awesome if you can do me a favor. I'm trying to help you as much as possible and I need your help this time. Uh, so go to my other channel, the link is in the description. You can also search in our YouTube, search for Holy Cowboy. It's H-O-L-Y-C-O-W-B-O-Y simple name for an Indian guy and I'm making some good skits and if you can just go there and subscribe that would be really awesome thank you very much I will see you later ask your questions in the comments below and uh, I will answer them as much as possible I will help many of you of course I can't help everyone with your university selections or based on your marks but I can give you some guidance depending on what you have and maybe that will help you all when I'm doing that and maybe that will help some specific person even one person helped, but we got awesome.